You know what I've been watching in bed? This is actually really weird for me to say. But I, I'm not afraid to say. I was watching Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 speedruns. I wanted to feel the nostalgia of Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3. Dude, dude this was the craziest shit. This was unbelievable as a kid. You cannot imagine it, dude. Dude, this was unbelievable. Un oh, I'm gonna... F I literally have a little drop dripping. Do you guys, as you remember PlayStation 1 and 2, especially PlayStation 1, do you remember PlayStation 1 and everything surrounding it and the games? Being a bit dark and horrifying. What? What? This is sounding weird. I was how old? I, how old was I when PlayStation One came around? Like nine? I was like nine or ten. In a weird way, PlayStation One had a darkness around itself. Like imagine you're nine years old and you hear this. It's like scary. And then the game is like Tomb Raider Free darkness and there's a snake and a butler chasing you and i was playing this game called medieval you were like a skeleton knight and everything was with skeletons and stuff and i just i in a weird way playstation one and all the games had an eerie side note to it and i wondered if you guys have the same yeah i can't explain why but like playstation 3 nowadays there's nothing creepy games are like fortnite and ha 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 but back in the day it was like creepy your dad had to allow you to play and everything was a bit dark and that's weird man weird it was... You younger guys probably don't understand that, but there was this weird eeriness to it. I, I can't really put it into words in my hands. It was so weird, but it was such an amazing feeling, dude. The butler was so creepy, dude. God, he was creepy. Because it was a new world, that, that makes a lot of sense, because it was really new and stuff. I still think the best PlayStation ever was PlayStation 2. You can't even deny that. PlayStation 2 was not from this planet, man. PlayStation 2 is probably even the best console ever, man. I don't know what that is. What do I remember of PlayStation 1? Wow. I remember a game that scared the shit out of me and my friends. We will play it in the break. Uh, uh, Resident Evil Nemesis. Resident Evil Nemesis. Dude, I was shitting my fucking pants, dude. There was this game where Nemesis hunts you, right? He will just fucking run after you. And I was so scared, man. I played Medieval with the skeleton. The first GTA games, GTA 1 and 2. Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 were so good. Tomb Raider 3 is still one of my favorite games. I would love to replay that one day. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. Yeah, I was so scared when he was hunting me, dude. There was this, and maybe some old school guy in chat remembers. You go into an alleyway and there's a spider running across the screen into a window. I was shitting my pants, dude. I remember when I got my PlayStation 2, there was a game in the package called Gundam. Gun, Gun Griffin Blaze. Gun Griffin Blaze. I don't remember so much. I'm getting old. This shit this was so scary as a kid, man. Police, everyone free. I don't know these games. The demo CD. I remember the demo CD that I had in PlayStation 2. There was a game. You were a guy walking around the city and you had a hoverboard. You had a skateboard with no wheels. That was on my demo. I remember that. And Tekken 3. Oh, I played so much Tekken 3, man. Kind of... I never played that stuff. I played the first game, Tombi 1. It was a really cool jump and run. Tekken 3 was so sick. Eddie Gordo. Chat, who is your favorite Tekken 3 character? And if you don't say Yoshimitsu, you are a bitch, okay? Yoshimitsu is the ultimate god, dude. Greatest character, bro. Greatest. Also, a game. Jade Cocoon, bro. I was too young, though. I was too dumb to play it. This game was so fucking next level, man. It was like Pokemon for, for adults. And you had to get creatures and you could breed them and stuff and bring them together. I want to show... Oh, look, dude, back in the day, graphics like this were insane. You see these graphics? Unbelievable, bro. Out of this world. I want to show a fight. It's like an RPG and you have like Pokemon and you can breed them and and they have elements and stuff. Can you show Battleman? Future Cup LAPD. I will play the demo with my friend the whole time. Oh my god, that game was so sick. Dude. Oh, I'm old. Dude, this was... This was just so good, man. Dude, there was like a... Oh god. Spyro! Spyro 1! Me and my dad will play that so much! I remember there was... Oh, this game was so beautiful! It felt so good being a kid, man. Uh, Spyro is einfach ein... I'm Spyro is einfach ein Spiel, Bruder. Das spielst du. This game was so sick. The controls were mind-blowing back in the day. And I remember this mission where you had to put fire on a cannon and it killed people and stuff. I played... I had the demo. As a kid, we had nothing. I will play the demo all again. Crash Bandicoot 1. Unbelievable game, dude. Crash Bandicoot 1, dude. What the fuck is that? Give me the old one. Here, man. There we go. Dude. Great time. Great time. Ape Escape. Oddworld. Apes Escape. That, that, that game scared me so much. Apes Escape. That game scared me, man. I was too young for this shit. 
This game scared me so hard. It, that game was so scary because you get fucking murdered the whole time, dude. Like, they fucking eat you and shit. Oh, God. Uh, I, my, my first ever PlayStation 1 game was this. Medieval PlayStation 1. Amazing game. So good. It was so funny. You are a skeleton knight, and it's like a Tim Burton movie. It's so funny, man. Oh, man. This is good. Let me show you. Come on, play it. Why is everything German? Play the fucking game, you Muppet. Wow, it takes you one minute to play the game. And you just run around and have fun, man. Ah, oh, man. A lot of people played this game. I never played Heart of Darkness. I, I, I have to... I remember this moment. Which is why I think PlayStation 1 was so eerie and dark to me. You know, I, I wasn't allowed to play. And my dad came home and my dad had friends back then, right? My dad was young. He was like late 20s. And my, my dad and his friends would play this game. And I was always allowed to watch. And this game I had so much impact on me, dude. This game had so much impact on me. It made me so horny, dude. Dude, is that weird? Every time she died, she made a weird sound and made me horny. Like, she will... When she will die, she will go like... Ugh! And I was like, nine, 10 years old, I was like... I kind of like that. <laughs> it's really weird, man. Uh, yeah, this game was like the biggest game for me, man. I would always watch my dad play this. I remember the first mission, man. You, you, this is this is my childhood, man. This is my childhood. <laughs> Oder wie nennt sich das hier? And this game was so complex and deep back then, man. Vor and then you go down. Show it, show it, man. Just fucking do it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, these kabeln. guys are so bad. Like, actually, this guy is big. Boah, erstes Erfolgserlebnis hier. Der yeah, this, this game was my shit. And here, here was my first sexual experience. This is gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna just say it. All deaths. Now look at this. I am like 11 years old, and I watch this, okay? And it made me horny. Watch this. Watch this, watch this. Is that weird? It's not weird. It's not weird at all. I don't think that's weird. Now, listen to that sound when she goes into the pikes. That was my first boner ever. Is that weird? That's probably fucking weird. <laughs> that's probably weird. <laughs> that's probably very weird, dude. Listen again. I remember, man. I'm like 11. That made me horny. Like the way she goes, uh, stop. And then she like goes, come on. <laughs> Okay, that, that did my... Yeah, like, what the fuck? She's just like, she's receiving a dick. How do you not get horny when you're 11? Listen. Come on. I I, I feel nothing. 72,000 views, man. Everybody's jerking off to that shit. Okay? I, I, I'm not afraid to say that. I can stand by that. It happened. I don't know this game is, man. I remember a game called Driver. That game was sick. You know, you have to understand, young people. For my generation, 90s kid, kids, the most mind-blowing video games was open world. Because open world was so fucking sick back then. Pokemon, Driver, GTA, fucking Zelda, N64. It was so sick. We weren't used to open world. When there was an open world game, it would blow your tits, man. It will be the most unbelievable thing. What are these games? I never heard this shit. I never played Raymond, no. Dino Crisis. That was like, oh man, back in the day, Konami, Konami, uh, they had Resident Evil and Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis, great idea, was a video game that was like Resident Evil, but with dinosaurs. Uh, I don't know why they don't do this anymore, man. Would be a great game nowadays. Imagine this game with nowadays graphics. Like, dinos are running and very horrifying, very dark and stuff. Really cool. Grand Theft Auto 1. My god, did I play the game. Uh, Yakuza? Uh, who are these guys? I don't remember. Uh, this game, man. This game is what fucked up my generation. Grand Theft Auto 1. You were just running around killing everyone. You did nothing. You were just killing people all the time. I remember right now, in the bottom right of the map was the tank. I remember that. And the music, dude. This is GTA 1 and already. Listen to the music. Already, man. GTA showing it has the best music of all times, man. GTA, man. So sick. What's that? I never played that. Never played Final Fantasy until 10. For example, that's, a, that's like a fucking mobile game your dad plays. Oh, fuck. Twisted Metal? I remember a game that was, once again, I played the demo. There was an arena, and you were a car. And you could pick up weapons with your car and shoot your friends. But it, I don't think it was Twisted Metal. I think it was called Vigilante 8, Vigilante 8 or something. I don't think that was Twisted Metal. Vigilant 8 or something. I would always play this with my friends after school. Oh, uh, Fudschweine. There was a war game with I'll pigs. I make him sizzle like a deep fried squirrel. 
Golden Trigger is considered one of the best games ever, right? By a lot of people. I don't know the game though. Castlevania? No. Legacy of Pain. The fuck is it? Break. I want to watch this. Sorry. Harvest Moon back to nature. I played Harvest Moon game for color, man. Sick game. I never like games like this. Dude, there was a game that was so swaggy. Dude, wipe out PlayStation 1. It's all coming back. I could never afford this game. I had to only play the demo. You were only allowed to play five minutes. Dude, this... Oh, the intro, the intro. Psht. Oh. Oh. One day, man, I want a PlayStation 1. I really want a PlayStation 1, man. So nostalgic. Dude, this game, bro. It was a racing game with futuristic... Dude, that was so cool, man. I could only, only ever play five minutes, I remember, man. You could try speedruns? Ah. Dude. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm having I'm having an episode. I'll right, force back in a second. I'm having an episode, okay. Diablo 1 never played. I never played Diablo. I remember everybody would always talk about Diablo 2 being insane. Bitch one world. Great game, but I will always fuck it up. Fuck that. I remember my dad would play a lot of Tuho. Tuho. That was also a very creepy game. Medal of Honor 1. Boah, I think I played that. That's pretty sick graphics, man. Dude, these graphics are big back in the day. Parasite E2. I've never heard this stuff in my life. WWE SmackDown 2, man. I loved this game to death. I had it. I, I got it from my uncle. My uncle lended it to me. And you could make your own character. And I made my own character. And my tag team partner was Raven. And my intro song was a crow crowing. Dude, as a kid, the WWE was so sick, man. Dude, you will fight someone and then the music plays and someone is running in. Dong! It's Kane! Kane is gonna choke slam me alone! Oh no. Yeah, that was really fun, man. Ah, that game was sick. Dude. And here we go, Tomb Raider. That that really got me the most. I played a lot of Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3. I love these games. I thought they were they were masterpieces. Tomb Raider 2, yeah. This is the beginning when you are in Asia. Next to Jump! 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 That's why Thomas is by Ravens. Yeah, dude, these, that game. But dude, let me tell you, kids, if they would remake this game nowadays with graphics, you, it's such a good horror game. It's like a very horrifying dino game, like very scary. And, you know, it's not like fun at all. It's very, very scary game. Soul Reaver, Legacy of Cain. What a game, dude. That game also so scary back as a kid. Oh, no, this one, Soul Reaver, man. Wow. It's funny how you think all of this is masterpieces. Odd Worlds, Apes. Oh, that's Apes Exodus. I know, I know Apes Escape. A lot of RPGs, huh? A lot of RPGs. Tactics Ogre, let us cling together. Never played stuff like this. I don't know what that is. I still believe till this day that Mega Man 1 on the NES is the hardest game ever. I have it. And I will never ever beat it. Maybe one day. I think that's a big thing on Twitch, right? That streamers make challenges. I, I'm genuinely not kidding, chat. This game is the hardest game of all times. Straight up. This game is so fucking ridiculously hard. I could never beat it. I played it uh, four years ago and I was just crying. Like one day I might do a challenge for it. But this is the hardest game. Because if you die three times, you have to restart the whole game. Thank you, Peanuts. Maybe one day. Keep me reminded, man. But... In my opinion, the hardest game I've ever seen in my life. Ever. What the, what the fuck is that? Driver 2? I never really played Driver, man. But you know, graphics like this were mind-blowing back then. That's Tenshu. I only played Tenshu Wrath of Heaven. Instead. I don't know this one. You know, nowadays this looks like a joke, but back in the day this was the greatest stuff. Man. Another Digimon game. I don't know this one. Thank you, Daniel. We're almost done. I'm back to four and six. Sorry. I'm just nostalgic. Never seen this. I can even still sing the intro of Tenshu Wrath of Heaven 2. This is uh, Apes Escape. Na Apes Odyssey. Apes Odyssey. Great game, man. Great game. Medieval. The, I think the first game I've ever played on PlayStation. It was like when you bought the PlayStation, you got that. Also, like, the first the first time you looked at women differently as a kid, when you saw these girls, and how they showed, you know? That's... I turned off mana. Games like this were so sweet back then. I don't know what that is. I've seen this before. 
Is that Zelda? What is this stuff? I always feel like I, had, I was such a gamer, but I don't know most of these games. Final Fantasy VI. I don't know this shit. I feel like games back then had more soul. I would personally agree. That's that game. That's the game. I hated this game. This game was amazing. It was a Digimon game, open world. For a long, young kid, right? Amazing. But the problem with this game was, I remember it, you had to treat your Digimon in a certain way so it digitates into something. Now, there is a Digimon, Cloakimon. Digimon Cloaki. Cloaki. What was his name? What was the poop Digimon? The poop Digimon. There was a poop Digimon. This one. Look, the poop Digimon. Now, I was a kid. I wasn't good at games. Every time you will treat your Digimon wrong, it will digitate into the poop Digimon. Which was like the worst. And I could never beat the game right here. Right. No, that's not the one. No. Yeah, you had to take care of your Digimon like a Tamagotchi. Yeah, this was the beginning and then it turned into the poop. And I could never get the real Digimon. And the problem, is, the, the problem this game had, your Digimon will die after a while. If you play two hours, your Digimon will die and you had to get the new Digimon. Why am I getting views, man? Why am I getting views? Never seen this, but you see a lot of RPGs back then. That's Tekken. Tekken 1. Tekken 2. This is Michelle versus Nina. Yeah, I didn't even check. I was really into Michelle. But the greatest Tekken character ever, uh, Lai Wulong. Lai Wulong. Emulator? Oh, this is how you get these games? Yeah, I don't need to. I'm okay, man. But thank you. Live Wu Long, man. I love them. Final Fantasy Chronicles. The problem is, man, you know, with nostalgia, it was such a good time. Dude, I remember you're like 11 years old. It's the weekend. Your mom brings you to grandma. You and grandma, she makes cookies for you. She makes cookies for you, you know? And then she puts you in front of the TV and you watch anime all day long. Digimon, Pokemon. All of this and then you go home and you play playstation one and you play game boy color and it was the greatest time dude it, it was so pure you had no problems man it was so great oh my mom that game dude legendary game of the gods once again i couldn't afford it i only played the demo dude we the kids in school we would all play this game all day long and let's say it as it is I don't know what the game was. Maybe you guys can tell me. But there was a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater that was open world. You had you had, um, you had had maps. And on the maps, you could do whatever you want. You could walk around. You could talk to characters. They had quests for you. And there was music. Because I'm TNT. I'm dynamite. And it was, it, that was one of the greatest games ever. Undisputed. Tony Hawk Underground? Dude, I can't, can someone please find a clip of that game? I'm I want to show that to kids. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. And... Dude, the soundtrack, man. Is that the game? Hello, everyone. Chris. It could Get be. You. Yeah, you had to walk around and do quests, and you do this. I played this game so much, man. It was. If you didn't play this game, you got bullied. Do you want to be sponsored, huh? You gotta... Yeah, and you have quests, and they like you have to do a certain trick, and you had to do urban stuff. You had to do tricks on the houses and shit. Look, and the music. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna be back, man. No, in a good way, though. And Ben Majera and all these people gonna... who are side characters. And you have all these side quests. It wasn't GTA. Man, that was... That was next level. That was next level, dude. What an unbelievable game. I remember I would make my own maps all the time. These Mega Man games were super hard, man. No, too. Man. Did you have any other consoles? Uh, we were very poor and I had this friend his name is Sebastian and once in a while He lent me his back in the day kids will lend stuff like you gave him your PlayStation 1 and he will give you and here we go I could never afford it. N64 N64 man. It was so sick when I got it I, I, I had N64 and I would only play one game the whole time Diddy Kong racing man Diddy Kong racing an open-world racing game with Diddy Kong and stuff. Oh, so good man So good N64 was sick man and Super Mario 64. Also, on paper, one of the best games ever, right? Like, what the fuck was that game, dude? That was just... Man, I don't know how much nostalgia it is, but back in the... I like what the guy in chat said. Back in the day, man, these games had soul, man. Soul. They had a soul, dude. You, you felt back in the day games were made by people that gave a shit, you know? I don't know. Chrono Trigger. I never played this. I don't know this game, but many, many people 
that I think have an IQ and they're not dumb say this might be the best game ever. Many people say that. It's made it the, the art styles from the Dragon Ball maker, the guy who made Dragon Ball made this game. Many people say it's the best game ever. No idea. Dude. You guys remember Splinter Cell 1 at all? Oh, Splinter Cell 1, dude. What the fuck is this? Not mission free. That looks sick, dude. Wow. Dude, that was amazing. That's driver one. That's driver one, yeah. Once again, I had the devil. I had the devil. It started in a parking lot. I remember you were in a parking house. Oh, that looks sick, man. Wow. That was really cool. Grandia. That's Grandia. I, I just got Grandia last month. I was playing it um, off stream. One of my favorite games ever. I was literally in love with one of the characters. I literally loved her. She was like my buddy. Her name was Faye. I remember. That's Tombi 1. In drama, it's called Tombi. I would always play it on vacation. And Crash Bandicoot. Unbelievable god game, dude. Such an amazing game. Tomb Raider 2? Tomb Raider 1. Tomb Raider 1. Sorry. What a great game, dude. I never played Street Fighter. I was more the second guy. And Spyro entered the... No. Spyro 1 was entered the Dragonflight. Spyro 1 was my god. Oh, this game's for super. Grand, uh, Grand Turismo. Here's a funny side note. In gaming, the the benchmark of graphics, like what is the current amount of graphics, was always Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, I remember you could paint this yourself. This color he chose himself, I remember. I played the demo, always played the demo. Back in the day, Gran Turismo was always the go-to graphics. The best graphics in gaming was always Gran Turismo. That was like the meta. That's uh, Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Thank you, Optio. God, I'm a nostalgic old man. That's number... That's the first one. That's the first one, where you have to save the crystallized uh, dragons. I don't know what that is. Yeah, man. Luna, Silver Star story complete. What? I have no idea, man. Crash Bandicoot 2. Yeah. Vortex Strikes Back. So sick, man. With the, with the Vortex guy. That's uh, the Crash Bandicoot racing game. The racing game I played with... I, re I remember everything. Dude, this is so deep, man. You guys will not probably understand. Even I don't understand. I had a friend. This was in grad school. Fourth grade. I remember. Fourth grade. And there was a guy called Felix. His name was Felix Müller. That's not a dox because that's the most generic name ever. And one day he came to school and said... You know, you know, here's the thing, Chad. Here's the thing. Back in the day in school... Kids would bring, um, you know, when you had a game, if you opened a game, you would have a book in it, a book explaining the game. And you know what kids did back in the day? Let me show you. I show you what kids, kids did back in the day. Back in the day, kids will do this. You know, you will have break and you will eat lunch, and then a kid came out, and a kid will be like this. Hey guys, you won't believe what happened. My daddy got me a game. It's called Black and White. And every boy will come. Whoa! What the fuck? And you'll be like, whoa! Whoa, look, you can, you can have, whoa, whoa, and everybody would go crazy. And then on the weekend, we would all, all go to that friend and play it. I remember Felix Müller had the first racing game ever called Scars. Scars, and we would all play it together, man. Times were good, man. All the kids hang out. It was called Scars PlayStation 1. That was my first, yeah, that was my first racing game. Yeah. Dude, I have another one. I have another one. It's all coming to my brain. One of the most amazing, I need your help, chat. I need your help. There was a game that blew my mind. I once again only had the demo. I was only plotted to 10 minutes. There was a lot of demos back then. And that game was mind-blowing. I need your help, chat. It was a game where you are a diver. You are inside the ocean diving, and it's an open-world game, and you had to do adventures. There was pirates, and you had to look at wrecks, and you had to fight a shark, and you had to get ammo. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? That's so deep in my brain. It's so fucking... So many years ago. Treasures of the Deep? Like, look, no one knows what I'm talking about. Dude, that game blow my brain, man. That game completely destroyed me, man. The graphics were unbelievable. Training dive? Can I see a real gameplay? Watch this. Watch this. No one remembers this. What the sound like, dude? Watch this. Watch this. They... This is kind of Subnautica back then, yeah. You have items and shit. Forward. And look at that. You were just on the water and you had to do stuff and shit. Looks like a Haiti. I remember this, man. I love this game. Crazy how the brain saves shit like this. Parasite Eve. Yeah, you killed dolphins. Underwater poaching. That is uh 
I know that Twisted Metal, that's what, yeah, you guys know that. I never played it. That game scared the fucking shit out of me. That's the game I mean. I could not play that game. I couldn't do it. I literally had to stop playing after a while. Because there was a guy, it's like nowadays with Resident Evil. There was an enemy called Nemesis and he would just walk after you. He would just hunt you. But yeah, this game, too scary, man. Too scary. Tony Hawk 2. No, that's... Yeah, Tony Hawk 2. Yeah, I see that instantly. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. No way 4? I don't play my phone set, okay? I played this game! I remember! I remember these graphics. Resident Evil 1. Dude, I'm gonna say something weird. Uh, should I say this? I should not. This is, like, really private. You know, the reason I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say is that I think it's not weird and it's natural and normal. Now, what, you also got plenty of this game? Yes, I did. Listen. I was... So, I had... To, um, my, my parents had friends. And I was... We were over at the friend's house. And they had... The, they were very rich. I remember. They were very rich and they had a lot of games. So, I was allowed to play with their PlayStation. And I played a game called... Resident Evil Code Veronica. I remember this so well. And here's the thing. Here it gets disturbing. I was really, really young, okay? I was really young. And here's the point. I, I, dude, this is gonna be weird. So we just talked about that Lara Croft dying in Tomb Raider 3 made me horny. Look, I was young. I was like 11 or 12 years old. I was in puberty. Now, I would play this game alone in a room because the parents were having a party. And here's the thing. I would always... I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to say this, okay? It was back in the day. I would always let the zombies kill her and eat her because she made a cool sound. It made me kind of horny. When they ate her, it was like, oh, oh no. And I, dude, I was like, what? Here, I, yeah. That made me horny, bro. It's like, I was like, that's like kissing a girl. <laughs> How is that not making you horny? She's like, oh. I mean, what can I do? How is that fucked up? It was the fucking early 2000s, okay? We didn't have porn. We didn't have jack shit. You guys are fucking idiots, okay? I was 11 and this shit made me horny. I'm sharing that with you. And you know what? I don't think it's... That made me horny. Is that she hitting her ass? I think deep inside a lot of you guys feel me. Especially older guys. Because we had nothing, man. We had nothing to jerk off to, man. It is what it is. I literally let them eat her, man. That was a very good one, number three. We're almost done. What's that? Ah, Grand Turismo 2. Dude, the best racing game ever is... Say it, say it. Need for Speed Underground. You guys remember Need for Speed Underground, man? Why don't they make this... I don't understand developers. Why don't they make Need for Speed Underground 3? Why? Need for Speed Underground was an open world, a GTA type game with a story like Fast and Furious and you could like, it was always night and you were driving through the night and you had to quest and you could tune every car you wanted, you could do everything and it was, it was so good man. I don't know why they make this, this game anymore. Don't fucking get it. Need for Speed Underground man. Oh. Unbelievable. You could really have your own car and do whatever you wanted with the car, it was so cool man. I remember this. I have a story. I told this often. I remember it very clearly. I was in grad school and I was fourth grade. And I would, I told the story often. I would, I was living right next to the school. So the second break in German school was 45 minutes. Second school break. Every time the break was, my parents were working. So I brought all my friends, everyone, David, Andre, Mitsu. I brought them all home and we will play the demo of this game. I remember in this game, in the demo, you were in a school. You were walking around a school and we kids, we were all in my room playing the game. And every time when a zombie came, we would all scream and run out of the room. It was the funny shit, man. It was good times. We, were, we couldn't play it. You take the controller. No, no, no. You take the controller. That was so good. Good times. Yes. Tekken 3. A masterpiece. Unbelievable masterpiece. Everybody talked about this game. I remember, I can literally tell you 20 characters right now. Unbelievable game. Dude. I even remember how to do the power fist. Circle into a way. Circle, circle, and this direction. He will do power fist. And everybody will just spam martial lore. With martial, you press up and square. And he will just do saltos. Flips. Pew, 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 pew. Everybody will fucking spam that, man. And people will spam Eddie Goro a lot. I like Yoshimitsu, man. That game was massive. Massive. Eddie 
cool though. I like horror rank. The take do guy. Let's see. We're gone, the little dino. So many RPGs back then. Oh yeah! You don't see that much anymore. Ah, uh, Red. Dude, that was that Resident Evil game where you are in a pub and you have to defend the pub. That shit scared the fuck out of me. I, I couldn't play these games. I was too scared. And there's tactics. These games needed not of IQ. Castlevania. Never played it. It was an ammo store. Oh, sorry, Max. Nice name. Final Fantasy... 68. And then PlayStation 2, 2 came, right? I probably don't want to do this right now. You guys want to see it for? Dude, once a month, that is uh, Metal Gear Solid 1. I always watch the demo at my friend's house. You could be uh, in a box. And one of the best games ever, Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, let's, let's not do... PlayStation 2, man. Let's calm down. That was just a little PlayStation 1 thing. But I genuinely believe, the, and I think many people should agree with me here. It's not even really open for debate. The greatest console of all times is the PlayStation 2. Can't deny it. I think N64 is close, but PlayStation 2 was the life changer. It, it touched so many people. GTA San Andreas. Final Fantasy X. Tell me. Need for Speed Underground. Uh, Star Wars Pot Racing. I read that on PC. Fucking Battlefront 1. Battlefront 1. Medal of Honor. Omaha Beach, I remember. The Spider-Man game. Not that. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. One of the best games ever. My god, that game was so fucking insane, dude. It was like literally GTA, but you're Spider-Man. You had all the freedoms you could do. I, I don't know why developers are so trash nowadays. Just look at old games and copy them. You literally could do whatever you want. Back when I was a kid, this was games, okay? This is gaming. You have a good game. You have a really good game. You have a bad game. You have games, right? This is games. A good one, a bad one. You have games. But then something happened, Chad. Something happened. And no one, no one in chat will ever disagree. One day something happened. And it was called San Andreas. And San Andreas went like this. Actually, it went like this. This, man. San Andreas was never seen before and I would even consider it one of the best games ever top five and San Andreas I remember everything I got it I remember everything about that game sometimes I just have this opinion sometimes there's games that just go away from the bulk you have games there's games coming out they're good blah blah but once in a while like an actor a movie a tv show once in a while there's something coming along that shits on everyone that is just years ahead just too good and that is San Andreas Frozen Throne Pokemon, blue, red, and yellow. World of Warcraft vanilla, can't deny it. Uh, Minecraft, I wouldn't even say maybe Fortnite or whatever the first BR. Oh man, oh man, you are still watching. That's amazing, young man. Click these videos, subscribe, and join the cause.